on The Doctors, where MD meets TV. If you suffer from acid reflux or heartburn, you probably know there are dozens of over-the-counter and prescription medications that you can take to help relieve the discomfort, but in some circumstances, using these medications can mask symptoms of something much more serious. I don't really remember a time in my life when I didn't have heartburn. Your heart is on fire, your chest is on fire, and you get acid in your throat and in your mouth, and it's about as painful as you can imagine. The heartburn medication helped the symptoms, and I took that for about 15, 16 years. I had no idea that something more serious was going on. When I went to see the doctor 15 years later, um, they did an endoscopy. It showed that I had Barrett syndrome, which could lead to esophageal cancer, which is one of the most deadly cancers that there is. It's scary to think that something could take you away from your child. I had no concept that something serious was going on other than just heartburn. 30 million Americans are affected by gastroesophageal reflux disease, but not everyone will develop precancerous cells. If you have heartburn more than three times a week, you need to see a gastroenterologist for screening. When David discovered he had precancerous cells, he decided to try a new procedure that would stop the cancer from ever forming. Well, David has had acid reflux for 20 years, and uh, all that acid coming up and irritating the lining of his esophagus changed those cells to become precancerous, and we call that Barrett's. Halo ablation is a new technology that allows us to go in and destroy the cancerous cells. I feel a little nervous, hoping everything comes out for the best. The device is called the Halo 90, and it's a little cap that we mount onto the tip of the scope to deliver that heat energy to wipe out bad cells. Just slipping that into the esophagus, where you see this more salmon-colored tissue coming up into the esophagus. Those are the Barrett cells that we're gonna get rid of today. So we just give it a blast of energy, and what will happen now is that uh, the bad cells slough off, and the good cells grow in its place, and he gets a normal esophagus again. David, as well as his doctor, Dr. Kenneth Chang, are here. And first of all, about a month ago, you had this done? Ago. Yeah, about a month ago. How are you feeling? You know, it's great. I feel um, relieved that I don't have heartburn anymore. I can work out, not stress about that, and not have to think about having cancer anymore. Well, and heartburn is annoying, but cancer can be deadly. And this is, we just talked about this, a six-fold increase in esophageal cancer, which is a terrible cancer to have, and yet it is, in many cases, preventable, right? That's right, Travis. We have a model over there. I want you to show everyone where these precancerous cells develop because cancer is basically cells gone mad, cells gone awry. And Barrett's esophagus are these cells that have started to act like they may become cancerous cells. That's right, Travis. When, when we eat food, uh, our stomachs make tons of acid to help digest the food. Now, if the acid splashes up into the esophagus, it can irritate the esophagus lining, it can cause inflammation. Uh, and over time, without any further symptoms, you can develop a condition called Barrett's esophagus, uh, which is precancerous. And if you can see here, this more red area is where the Barrett's is in the, on the bottom of the esophagus. So when that happens, uh, then without any change in symptoms, and sometimes patients even feel better because the lining has changed and they don't feel it right. as much, that's a concern. And now we have a great way of treating and eliminating the Barrett's with our, this uh, Halo 90 technology. And tips for people at home who suffer from reflux that they can take on their own to help prevent anything progressing to this level. How we eat and what we eat factors into whether or not we can control the, the reflux. For example, if, if you eat a, a large amount quickly and then go lie down and go to bed, that's a risk for acid coming up through the night. Certain foods can cause acid reflux. Fatty foods, sweets, peppermint, um, alcohol, caffeine can all uh, make reflux worse, and also cigarette smoke. Because you have a lower esophageal sphincter that actually can, can release itself and allow that acid to come up into your esophagus, and the point is to try to prevent that and prevent progression to cancer. Thank you, David, so much. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. When we come back, I have some advice that you can't miss.